What is up, Movie Masters? Welcome back to a new video. Today, I am going to be reviewing a very fun movie, in my opinion. Because today, I'm going to be reviewing the Super Mario Bros. movie. The Super Mario Bros. movie is about Mar is based on the um, in, in, um Italian plumber that um ha is well yeah a plumber and then gets sucked into the world of the Mushroom Kingdom, saving the Princess Peach from uh, Bowser in this Mushroom Kingdom. It, it's it's hard to it's not that hard to explain. I just don't know how to explain. But uh, the movie is based is about a, a plumber named Mario who get uh, who gets sucked into the Mushroom Kingdom, wor the world of the Mushroom Kingdom, with his brother Luigi. But his brother Luigi gets taken by Bowser, the the King of Koopas, and now he must and Mario now must work with Princess Peach and a Toad and uh, maybe even Donkey Kong to go save his brother from the evil Emperor Bowser. That's the way I can say it without spoilers, with making sense and. This movie has been worked for a long time. We've all been wanting an animated Mario movie, and uh, and well, it's finally out. And after seeing the film, I don't love it, but I do like it. I do like it. Is it better than the Sonic movies, though? That is actually the question of the day. Is the Mario movie Sonic uh, better than Sonic? Is he gonna take that crown from Sonic of King of Movies, or is Sonic the st Sonic still have his crown? That's what we're going to find out. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell when I make my spoiler review. Because I do want to talk about spoilers. I want to talk about that in credit scene so much. And uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And enough of me talking. Let's get into the Super Mario Bros. movie. So first off, um, I gotta say, critics seem to hate this film. Meanwhile, the audience seems to love this film. So it's going to be one of those films. Got it, got it. Anyways, this movie, we all were curious. Like, the day they announced that it, Nintendo would be working on this with uh, Illumination, we were like, Oh, man. I enjoy Illumination films, but a Mario movie with Illumination? I was, I was skeptical. The day they announced the cast with Chris Pratt as Mario. Oh, man. Any day they had anything crazy about the movie. Oh boy, this might not be good. And then that first trailer came out, and our minds went boom. That was a freaking amazing trailer. And anything that ever came out ever since then, after that, it was absolutely perfect. A lot of us started to think, maybe this movie will be perfect. You know, maybe this will actually be the king of movie video game movies again. But, in my opinion, Almost got that crown. The movie was really good. Let's start off with the positives. First off, the relationship between Mario and Luigi. It is the perfect relationship. It's not like brother bickering and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe a little. I don't know. But, you know, it's the perfect relationship. And you really love this relationship between Mario and Luigi. You can totally see them as brothers because they are. And it does suck, though, that they are basically most of the movie apart. That, that does suck. Uh, yeah. But we'll get into that later. But the relationship is just so perfect, and I wish I had that relationship, my stepbrother. It, it, things would be a lot nicer and less dramatic if that was like our relationship. Another positive I have to say is the visuals. Illumination and Nintendo knocked it out of the park, man. With this, it was absolutely an amazing look, amazing visuals. Mario Bowser, Toad, Princess Peach, Don <laughs> Luigi. I think they all look absolutely perfect. Donkey Kong, uh. Could have been better. Everyone really looks perfect in this type of film. Almost. And it's it's really good. And the visuals, too. Not just the characters, the visuals. Uh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yep, the visuals go for everything, and I'm not lying when I say it looks good. Another thing I can talk about this movie with is that it sticks to the Mario lore so much. I'm that, I mean, like, so many Easter eggs, like, a thousand Easter eggs. There, if there could be a second on screen, 
at your screen, and every second there will be an Easter egg somewhere hidden. That is absolutely crazy. And um, but also like they stick so close to the original thing, like Mario and Luigi. They're Italian or Brooklyn, whichever one you want to call them. Plumbers that get sucked into the Mushroom Kingdom. Easy. They must. Mario has to go save someone from Emperor Bowser. Easy. And, you know, they do change that stuff a little bit, of course, because if they went exactly how the game would be, maybe this wouldn't be a uh, long of a movie. And it's really good. It's really good. The way they handle everything, it's really good. Like, really, really good. Oh, and Mario voice acting. If you were worried about Chris Pratt being Mario, don't be. The man is... At Intentional, or however you say it, special. What I I don't know the word. I I don't know the word. I wish I knew. Dang it. Okay. Well, he is blown my expectation expectations away. And if you thought that was his Mario voice from the trailer, if you're thinking about that, what is this place? Mushroom Kingdom. Here we come. Wait till they see the movie. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but. You're gonna wanna watch this movie just to see what what he meant by It's a me, a Mario. That's not the voice. You'll have to wait to hear the voice, but we've been working hard at it. Ooh <laughs> The promoting was good, man. The promoting was good. And you know, he made Mario his own character. We were all worried it was just gonna be Chris Pratt just being Chris Pratt with a little bit of a Brooklyn accent. And yeah, we get that a little bit, but he made Mario his own character, really. He was Mario, and that's what I love to see. That's what I freaking love to see. And voice acting goes to everyone, too. Like, Louis Charlie Day's Luigi, absolutely perfect role. Keegan Michael, Michael Key's Toad. Ooh, he was good. Was he the best? Definitely not. I don't think Toad got enough screen time, but hey. Good voice acting. And it's on it. Anna Taylor jump, 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 jump. Why can't I talk today? Why can't Jones? Anna Taylor Jones is it? I think I don't think it's Johnson. <laughs> Anna Taylor. Um, she was really good at speech too. Uh, whoever plays Connect, perfect. But the biggest positive, of course, that for voice acting, the MVP of voice acting was Jack Black Bowser. He was an absolute amazing character in this film. A perfect voice acting. And he even got his own song. And people are listening to it to this day. I'm not going to say anything. But if you've been on YouTube, you probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but if you don't want spoilers to the movie, don't look it up. Don't, don't, don't look it up. This movie really is so good. And the, the story... I mean, I'll talk about that later. But, um, it was really good. The monsters, it stayed faithful to the video game, and I really love that. And the lucky boss. I like how they explain, explain that, too. Basically, like the video games. And you understand when you see the movie. But they also explain that. I think they explain that, too. They explain a lot of the Mario lore. Good, and... They did justice to the game. However, like I said, it almost got the crown of best video game movies. But... It did it entirely. Not yet. It was close. But there's still negatives I want to talk about. First negative of the movie. Um, it's, it's an hour and 30 minutes. It's way too short. And this is a movie for kids. Let, let's just get to this out of the way. It's a movie for kids. If you're a Mario fan, you're probably going to enjoy this. You'll probably be disappointed, but you'll probably enjoy it still. But this is a movie for kids. A kids with a short attention span. That could be like... Oh, this is interesting. Oh, what is this? That that way, this movie gets people, kids' attention. Like, oh, this is interesting. Oh, what is that? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. That's who this movie is for. And um, you know, that's sad because I really wanted a Mario movie that was also very nostalgic for the adults. Because it is, trust me, but. It really is, at the end of the day, a kid's movie, and that's kind of why it has the rating right now, because it, why it has this mixed rating from people. Because they wanted the Mario nostalgia. People, Mario fans are definitely probably going to be disappointed with this film because of how short it is, how, and, like, how much it did not do, I guess. I don't know. 
it's sad. I just wanted it to be like a two hour movie. Then it would have been better. It would have been a lot better and more paced better. Who knows? Maybe for the sequel. Another negative, Mario and Luigi uh, relationship. Like I said, it was amazing relationship. However, they are apart for the entire movie, basically. All you get, beginning, ending. Boom, that's when they get together again. Maybe, when they fight Bowser. Because that's, of course, what they're going to do. It's a kid's film. You always know how it's going to end. But, um, well, you might not get this one. You might actually get wrong. But anyways, uh... They're apart for the basically the entire movie. When they're apart from the movie, it's like it's not. It doesn't really hit as hard as something they say at the end, and you don't you don't get to see that brother relationship. You really love this brotherly relationship between him and Mario and Luigi, but you don't really get to see it, and that sucks because I wanted to see more of the Mario Luigi relationship, Super Mario Bros. No, let's see, let's do Super Last Name Bros, whatever their last name is. Actually, that's a good question. What is their last name? Another negative. Um, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the worst voice acting of the movie, it wasn't Chris Pratt's Mario. It was Seth Rogen's Donkey Kong. Seth Rogen did exactly what we were afraid Mario, Chris Pratt Mario, would do. We all thought he was just going to be, you would see Chris Pratt when Mario was talking. But no, we saw Mario talking. But Seth Rogen, you didn't see Donkey Kong talking. You saw Seth Rogen when talking. <laughs> oh my, I'm sorry. Okay. Now you die. He didn't make Donkey Kong his own character. You literally just saw Seth Rogen with his exact same laugh. Hey, you remember this promo? <laughs> oh my! I'm sorry. Okay. Not if it's gonna be a different laugh, huh? Get that off the screen. It's his exact laugh that's Donkey Kong's laugh, so that's interesting. And I wouldn't say that's really much of a bad thing, but come on, man. It's a Mario movie. Can we, can we get something different, please? However, when I think about it more, Seth Rogen is second to worst act voice acting. The worst voice acting, in my opinion, is Cranky Kong. When it first happened on screen, I was like, what? Because I don't think it matches. I don't think it matches. It, I, I've seen people talk about that. It kind of kind of freaked them out when it first came on screen. And, um, yeah, I get it, because it did that to me, too. I was like, what the heck? Yeah. So Cranky Kong might have the worst. Seth Rogen was close, though. You got lucky. You got Rogan. You got lucky, Rogan. Another negative. Um, well, is this really a negative? Just some pot mix. This is the plot, the story. Now, people are really bashing on the story, but it really, it, Mario games are, is like this. Mo Princess Peach gets, ki gets kidnapped. Mario must save her from B Emperor Bowser. Boom, Bowser defeat, Mario happy. Plot, uh, or story. Luigi gets kidnapped. Mario must save him from Emperor Bowser. Uh, save, defeat Bowser, boom, Mario happy. I mean, that's not how it's gonna play out entirely, but, you know, there's more. And people are really bashing on the story for just being so simple of a story. When, like, dude, the movie is Mario. Do you not know the Mario lore? It's not that big. All you gotta do is save a princess. But that's really much all I can say. I, it, let me think about another negative. Uh, let me say uh, another negative I would say. The final negative I will say is the songs. And like the soundtrack, the score, peak amazing Mario goodness. But the songs itself, we've seen this before. You will recognize a song when it comes on screen because, oh, I remember that song. And this movie did it better than that. Because they, they have, do I want to mention the songs? Um, I'm not going to mention the songs, but I will say this. It's, you, you really could have done better. You really could have done better. Did you really have to do that? And again, the kids movie, so, meh. But now, um, let's get to the rating. Overall, I would say this movie was a really good movie. Is it a G State Studios guarantee? That's what we're going to figure out when we get into the rating. For action, I'm going to give action, like, three and a half stars like 
the action, the cinematography, and the big final battle at the end. Oh boy, man, that was a lot of good visuals, action. I really enjoyed it. So let's just give action three and a half stars, shall we? For comedy, um, let's give comedy. I don't really remember laughing much. I do remember comedy though. So I will give like maybe two and a half, maybe three stars. Let's go with. Let's go three stars, just in case. Uh, let's go three stars for comedy. It was it was funny at parts. Of course, it wasn't funny at other parts, and it was good. Three stars. Drama. Okay, if it was with Mario and Luigi's relationship the entire movie, I don't know. I don't know. But with dra this drama, I kind of got to give it two and a half stars. I didn't really feel the drama, but it was... It can be dramatic at times, and... And I just wanted more Mario and Luigi relationship, okay? But through two and a half stars right now. Horror, zero stars. There's not really anything to be scared of. This is a kid fr kid friendly movie, and there's not gonna be anything scary in this movie. Zero stars. And for suspense, I'm honestly gonna give it like maybe another two and a half stars. Like I did not know it was gonna happen. I did not know if anyone was gonna die, and I did not know how this would play out. Maybe two stars is actually good. I feel like I did know, well, at the end of the day. Eh, whatever. Overall, I think this movie was a really good movie. And to answer the question, I think it's better than the Sonic movie, but not as good as Sonic 2. And I would say that the Mario movie is a 7.5 out of 10 for me. And I think, I think... You should own the movie. It's definitely no GTA 3 I guarantee. It's got a lot of mixed reactions. But I think it was a really solid movie. A really, really good movie. And, you know, yeah, it's fine. But it's not a guarantee for me. I, that fast pacing, it really annoys me. I can't really stand for it. I can literally be like an hour into this film and I'll be and I'll feel like I just got into the theater. That's another negative I can mention. And it was it was good. It was good. I enjoyed it, but it's definitely not better than the Sonic movie. So I do say you own the film, but Sonic still has the crown over Mario when it comes to movies. Congrats, Sonic. You deserve it. But anyways, guys, that was my review for the Super Mario Bros. movie. I want to know what you guys think about it. Leave a comment down below. Leave me your rating in the comments below. No spoilers. Save that for the spoiler review. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.